Okay, what we're gonna do today is gonna test this uh, motherboard right here. I just recently picked this up for a pretty decent deal. I know nothing about it. I don't know what the CPU is. Uh, I didn't even check the the SSD or not. I did check the RAM, kind of see how if it if it's newer or older. So it has a four gig stick and an eight gig stick. They're DDR4 running at 3200. That's the only thing I checked out. So I know nothing about the system. I I hooked it up to the 300 watt power supply that I got from that other motherboard that was bad. I got it hooked into HDMI up to my, you know, up to my LG, you know, 32 inch monitor here. Do HDMI, like I said, I have my utility thing booted in, so I'm not booting off of this. They did say they did a fresh and it, it, they did reset it. That's all they said. They didn't know nothing else about it because they no longer had the power supply. I guess the case was damaged somehow. I don't know. All I know is I got the motherboard, CPU. You, you can kind of kind of see it in there that there is a CPU in there. I don't know what one. Like I said, I don't even know what the drive size is. It is one of these boards that have, you know, a, a four pin here and a four pin here and then this little connector here. But this this is an HP power supply. It says HP on the motherboard. It says 2021 as a has a copyright on here. So I don't know anything about it. So we're gonna boot it up into the thumb drive and see what hardware we have in here. I'm, you know. DDR4 could be really anything. I think, I think you mentioned it might have an i5 in it. Okay, so maybe it has an i5 6400, 6500, first gen i5 because it has DDR4. Maybe it uh, maybe it has you know six gen. Maybe it has seven gen. But just go ahead and and so the power's already hooked in. I have everything hooked in. I didn't want to make this too long. Not for sure if I'm just gonna try to find a replacement case for this or I'm just going to use a CPU and RAM in storage for something else you know I took the Wi-Fi off the other board that I have that doesn't work that had an AMD CPU in it so I could put Wi-Fi on this board uh, I have one antenna left which is good because this only has one antenna hookup for it so it could have Wi-Fi Bluetooth still so yes sir it's I'll hit the power button. I'm going to be tapping F9 to get in for I can boot off of this. Oh, oh, for a minute I was worried there. thought it wasn't going to turn on. So let's turn it on. I'm hitting F9. So there's a boot menu. So we know the board's functioning still, right? Still good. So it has Windows Boot Manager. So it does have Windows on it. Lisa's showing, but we're going to well, let's pan this up. So we're gonna, you know, boot off my Kingston. It's a 3.0 drive, but it's still a pretty slow drive. So we'll boot off of that into the into my boot tool, loading. You can see, loading files, and we'll see what CPU we have, what size an SSD we have. You know, this has software on it already. You know on this drive that's going to tell us what we have for specs and see what we have or i could do you know like other people do just slap this into a custom case and then get the adapter to run this and aftermarket power supply with the with the video card if this is a good cpu though i, I don't know what the cpu is so if it's a good cpu that could be a possibility you know I watched Tech Yes City and he just kind of kind of does that same thing. He just gets these OEM boards like this, gets the adapter for them, and then aftermarket power supply, good video card. So we're booted in. Okay, so just uh, give it a second to do this because otherwise sometimes it messes up and doesn't want to run. I'll, t I'll, I'll take you down too. That's why the audio isn't sounding that good because I don't have no mic or nothing hooked up right now. Go into the utilities system tools i think it is yeah right here hardware info uh we can do cpu z 
you start that up. It should show everything else too. So we got, oh, what? I'm just gonna take you down, but I just seen socket 1700 LGA, what? Okay, um, I'm gonna take you down if you can get a little close up. So, look at this. He wasn't right. He was right about an i5. I'm sure he said it had an i5. So we have an i5. Uh, yeah, look at that. 65 watts. TDP. Socket. You see that? Socket 11. Uh, socket 1700. So what do we have? We have 11, a 12th gen i5, 12400. I was not expecting that. I was expecting like. At the most, like my other HP computer has, like a i5-8400, something like that. But no, we have an i5-12400. Okay, 6 core, 12 thread CPU. Okay, let's go into, that's weird, but cash wise, board, there's a the board, okay. It's a memory. So we have 12 gigs of RAM as DDR4. We know that. Graphics is going to be Intel because there's no drivers. Where is here? Um, does it show storage? Just go. Uh, this PC. Oh, it's not even showing there. It's not showing the NVMe. Back in here again. Hardware info. Let's go hardware info. Run. So yeah, we're getting everything exactly the same as before. It's still showing the i5, so there's no like messing around. There's still an i5-2400. Let's see if this picks up on the drive. Is the drive not working? Use it. Yeah, it's showing. Da -da. Yeah, it's not showing the drive storage. So I don't know if the drive works or not. No software showing. Yes, it's uh. Click back. Yeah, the uh, that NVMe is not showing up. So this is a cloning software. That yeah, it's not even showing up in the cloning software. So I don't know what's up with that. But you know, the board works. You know, I got the 300 watt power supply from a different motherboard that doesn't work. You know, so what do we get? We got an i5 12400, 12 gigs of RAM because there's an 8 gig and a 4 gig. I'm not for sure about the NVMe. I guess I could look, but this print's really small. Uh, not for sure what I'm going to do with this, but yeah, I just wanted to throw this on the internet. And this fan came from the other motherboard too, so I didn't get a fan. I just got the motherboard CPU cooler, RAM, and the storage that might be bad. So the power supply and that fan came from that other computer. That Well, not the computer, but the motherboard I bought that the dude said worked and then didn't work so yeah this seems to be all good i'm gonna end the video at that the next video will probably be showing me either building a system with what you see here with the replacement case or i'm just going to use the cpu and the ram well i'll probably just use the cpu and the storage if it does work in a different build i, I you know might if I can find the replacement case for this, I'll put it back in the original case and put a small video card on it. Yeah, it does seem really nice and it all works. So I'm happy with that. Uh, leave in the comments below if you thought this was going to work or not. 
or what CPU did you think I was going to get with this? Did you think also, you know, because I got it for really cheap. I think I gave, I don't even know because I traded stuff for it. So I don't really even know the price. You know, I traded some old adapter pieces I had and some old sound cards I had. I think this uh, little box thing for car, you know, that red cars, like, like micro SD cards, stuff like that, you know, had, I think, two, two USB ports on it, a Type-C plug on it, so it's a newer one, like a, kind of like a hub, but it was meant to directly hook onto your motherboard, so I traded a lot of stuff that I had for a while that I had no intentions on, I, I, on keeping for this, so maybe I have between 50 and a hundred dollars in this you know if that was a good price especially for an i5 12 400 and 12 gigs of ram and probably five five twelve ssd or 256 gig hopefully that drive works but uh let me know maybe in a second video i'll boot it up off this drive but he said he reset it but I heard people say they reset it and I don't want to start a system up you know I, this is the first boot without knowing if there's someone's stuff on here so I guess I'll add a second part of this that's going to boot off this drive if there's if there's nothing of their information on here like pictures on the you know wallpaper of theirs I'll, I, I, I add in I snip in that second part to it yeah that's going to be the end of this video probably this part so thank you for watching yeah leave the comments in below what what you think about this board did you do you think i got a good deal i changed i traded it for stuff that's probably worth 50 to 100 dollars. and on top of that did you think i was going to get you know what was that a 12th gen cpu i was expecting a sixth or seventh gen out of this thing they did say it was running windows 11 so I just kind of like doesn't matter because they can do the work around. So I still think in sixth or seventh gen, maybe eighth. Yeah. Okay. That's going to be the end of this video. Thank you for watching.